and video number three about creatine in perimenopause and menopause years. I want to remind women that perimenopause years is incredibly crucial to make sure that you're taking the steps to improve your menopause years. So what you do prior to hitting menopause is going to play such a big role in your health. And creatine can be a part of that. Why a creatine supplementation might be helpful in women, onset of perimenopause is about the age of 41 or 42. The perimenopause and postmenopause is where estrogen declines and where we see a lot of changes in the muscle, where we need more research, but also a high level of potential for creatine supplementation in women as they transition into menopause. Um, one of these studies uh, here by Dr. Stout was in older women. So uh, training above a fatigue threshold or improving fatigue could be directly related to health and quality of life. You're seeing the same trend here that really um, essentially all of the studies on women have shown a positive effect by delaying fatigue. If you combine creatine with resistance training in some of these older women is where you see a bigger effect. Creatine could support greater bone mineral density. Then this would be exacerbated, I think, in this group, particularly with lower protein intakes. When combining creatine supplementation and some training in older women, there's significant improvements in strength, which has many applications to health and quality of life. When combined um, with, with some training, we're seeing greater increases in fat-free mass from a creatine group. So by a small amount of creatine with some training, there's significant effects on bone and muscle and strength um, in these older women or more of a, um, you know, kind of depending on our estrogen levels. Highlight um, kind of the potential application of that transition to menopause. So this is not a study in creatine, but it's a paper that we've explored really trying to identify um, and have identified that perimenopause, which is that, um, you know, anywhere from four to 10 or to eight years of the transition right before menopause, where a number of physiological changes are occurring to bone and muscle and metabolism. Um, particularly, we're seeing that there's a significant decrease in protein, uh, whole body protein turnover in that transition to perimenopause, as well as muscle mass and metabolism. And really highlight their significant composition changes and an increase in menopausal symptoms. If we are going to recommend creatine to females, one of the key time points would be perimenopause. Um, not only is it a window of opportunity for lifelong health, but it also may have significant impacts on bone. And we also identify that perimenopause is, is really that key turning point for a number of metabolic um, and mental health changes um, related to menopausal symptoms. A one in eight women experience more depression in their lifetime. It's twice the rate as men. That's significantly increased in perimenopause it does seem to uptick in that perimenopause. In a feeling or scenario when memory is reduced, creatine supplementation uh, tends to improve memory. Memory and cognition and depression as women age, there may be even more potential and exploration of the effect of creatine for women as they start to deal with some of these memory changes.